Hello, welcome back to All Books UG. My name is Godin Toko. I hope we are living up to your expectation because we promise to review Ugandan books and to get you engaged with Ugandan literature. That we will try every time to do and I hope we are doing it well for you now. For those that engage us in the comments, thank you very much. They help us improve. I hope you also leave a comment at the end of this video. So today, I will review this book, Out of Sight by Lindsay Biamogisha. So this is a 2021 publication um by vision group uganda the cover design this beautiful cover is by andy studios and the author again is lindsay biamogisha so this book is basically the story of lindsay biamogisha as a young girl taken to a boarding school from the age of eight and then she goes through the boarding section i mean through the primary section as a, a boarding scholar up to when she sits a primary living examination so out of sight like the title suggests is her out of sight from the rest of the world and confined only to that small space of a boarding primary school where no no food is allowed from outside and things like that so first um this book creates a conversation that we all to have as someone that went to a boarding school from a young age very similar to Lindsay's, i found it was too fast. There was the very exciting part. You meet all the people. You get to meet new friends. And for in this case, as she narrates in the book, she made these trips far away to Japan. And then a second trip to Rwanda. Um, she had the experiences going to the gardens, um, had studying during boarding, uh, the, during holidays. And then one time the police coming to conduct an impromptu operation and they get it. And, the school administrators hiding them in the garden and things like that. This is the exciting part of it. Even when it's not that good today, it was still exciting back then. However, this book in the bigger picture creates a conversation that is not often had. The one of boarding schools. When is a child safe enough to be in a boarding school? What happens when the parents are not watching, the rest of the world is not watching, and this child is on the left at the mercy of the school? So for in this case, she narrates and says she witnessed and has was, she doesn't mention which one, but it was a single sex girls boarding school. Says so she saw young girls being sexually harassed. She saw teachers meting out punishments, including to her, the author, that are really questionable and would border with child abuse under any other circumstance. Now, that's the kind of book that Lindsay gifted us with. So she narrates her experience along those lines and brings in all these other things. I think it's high time we had that conversation. Do boarding schools leave children in the right state of mental health, given the things that happen there. Um, even when the need exists, what should a parent look out for before taking a child to a particular boarding school or reaching that hard decision that this is the time to take them to a boarding school? So this is a book I highly recommend for parents who are in that situation? Do I take my child to a boarding school? Do I not take my child to a boarding school? It's also good for people like me who are in boarding school. You get to reminisce those days of boarding school. You remember the tap lager. She writes about that. Uh, you remember the days when you had to go and play with your friends after Saturday cleaning. Um, um, the days when you had to go and worship and pray um, within the boarding school. And then I also recommend it for the the school owners, the government administrators, there are things that we need to put right in these boarding schools. Because towards the end of this book, Lindsay shows you that she talked to a person who went to the same boarding school that she did. And this is several years later. And yet, things hadn't changed that drastically. She asks a set of questions to which the other person responds. While a few of them seem to have improved, for instance, there's now boiled water, um, according to the respondent, but there are things that are stuckingly still the same, still stuck in the past. And some of them are really not good for a child of that young age. So this is a very good book. Um, I'm told the newer editions may have a different publisher. But when they do still, I hope you get a copy of it and read. Remember your days in boarding school. Or it may help you make the right decision of which school to take your children to or what to look out for or when to take your children to boarding school, if at all. Um, I mean the primary section, if at all. So uh, how you get a copy of this book is you're going to contact the number that is running down under the, uh, running on the screen right now. Just contact that number and they'll be able to get you a copy of the book. It's really affordable. It's a very easy book to read. And uh, I hope that we'll get more of these stories um, from people that have had these experiences in life. 
like most of us as Ugandans go through so we can make better decisions, better and informed decisions in the future. Thank you very much.